Exclusively on KSNT News, more than a thousand people in one city are concerned about rezoning the county. The plan could cause some of them to lose their farms. KSNT News reporter Lindley Lund is live in Emporia now to tell us what these folks want done now to protect their futures. Lindley. Kelly, it may be quiet on this Sunday night here at the Lyon County Courthouse, but over the next month, concerned citizens will be fighting for county commissioners to not go in there and vote for a new rezoning plan. Now, this plan requires anyone who owns less than 40 acres of land to prove its agricultural purpose. Angel Cushing owns a small goat farm of less than 40 acres in North Lyon County. Now she's at risk of losing her land if she doesn't prove the agricultural purpose of her farm. So she started fighting. Four years later, she hasn't stepped down. It forces the landowner to spend an awful lot of money in permits and appeals and is incredibly burdensome if it doesn't put them out of farming completely. Both Lyon County and the city of Emporia chose Oregon-based company Urban Collaborative to create the new zoning plan being considered, paying them around $280,000, according to a county commissioner. The project manager, Zoe Anton, is also the vice president of Kraft Crickets, a company who farms crickets for food. According to their website, they believe cricket farming is a smarter and more environmentally friendly form of agriculture compared to farming beef, pork, and chicken, leaving community members worried the plan may be pulling away from the needs of the local rural farmers. When asked about this, Anton declined to comment, referring me to local leadership. Lyon County Commissioner Scott Briggs says he doesn't think the plan is biased, even noting the Kansas Livestock Association was involved to ensure that it isn't. It's totally absurd we'd even look at something like that. She never once mentioned cricks. She never once mentioned. This is a livestock community. To go against the zoning plan, Cushing created a petition signed by over a thousand citizens. However, county officials failed to recognize the petition, saying it was not official enough. When they took those petition signatures and discounted them as irrelevant, they didn't. They refused to listen to the voice of the people. That's a, totally against the Constitution as far as I'm concerned. Leaving the citizens feeling their voices aren't being heard. The people have been speaking and ignored or made fun of or told uh, that 90 percent of us who signed that petition didn't understand it. However, Briggs says their message was heard loud and clear. I don't really care if it was valid petition or not a valid petition. There's a thousand people and I've reached out to a lot of them and asked them, you know, what are you, what are you seeing in this, this, peti or this zoning regulations that I don't? And most of them were under the influence of well, I heard this and I heard that. And once I walked them through it, they said, oh, we're OK with it. And Briggs says that he hopes to be able to continue talking to these concerned citizens and answering any of their questions before the commission makes a final vote on January 21st.